Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at an artist's selection set by Diller Rowney. I saw this one while browsing the Jackson's website and I was intrigued, as it seemed a good way to try out many products by Diller Rowney. It was also on clearance sale, so really affordable. The set comes in a flat tin in a very manageable size. The packaging is minimal consisting of a printed cardstock sleeve and a wraparound the tin contents to keep them in place. Inside the tin, there is a soft putty eraser, a 2B graphite pencil, a watercolor brush, four artists' watercolor pencils, and nine artists' watercolor half bands. It's an interesting selection and I'm curious to try it all. In general, there's very little information about this set. I couldn't find any pigment information on the packaging here. Also, the watercolor half pans are not wrapped, so unnamed. Some colors are easy to guess, others are less obvious. I'm thinking this set is fairly old as I couldn't find anything online either. All the supplies here worked really well when I was swatching them. The watercolor pencils activated and dissolved nicely, with very few texture left on the paper. The half pans also rewet nicely and produced nice, bright colors. The only item that was a bit lackluster is the eraser. It's not very pliable, but it still erases fine. As these paints are unidentified, I took out my Diller Brownie Aquafine mini set and swatched those colors to be able to compare swatches with the ones from the artist's set. There is no indication if the half pans in the artist sets are actually artist grade paints or more like student grade paints as the one you'd find in the Aquafine set. To test this set, I took a piece of cotton watercolor paper and drew a sketch. I made it a point to use all the tools from this set, and truly everything worked well. I used a graphite pencil to do the basic sketch, then lightened it with the eraser. I went over the drawing again with the watercolor pencils to refine it. Then I painted it using the half pans. When the painting was dry, I used the black watercolor to line up the drawing. And I used a small brush from the set for everything color. The last thing I did was to try and compare my Aquafine swatches to the ones from this set. Some colors were very similar, like the Ultramarine and the Yellow Ochre. Others were definitely not a match. As there is no pigment information that I could find on the watercolor pencils and half pans, I wouldn't consider these as professional supplies for now. It's still a high quality set. The tools included in it work really well, and the colors are nice and vibrant. 
Personally, I love how compact it is. The only modification that could have been done is to have a lid that is painted white on the inside, instead of black with white text. As it is, this set doesn't have a real mixing space for the paints. Aside from that, great little set from De Rani, I really enjoyed trying it out. Thank you very much for watching, take care, bye bye.